Cases of a dangerous and highly fatal bacterial infection have reached record levels in Japan, official figures show, with experts so far unable to pinpoint the reason for the rise. As of June 2nd, Japan's health ministry had recorded 977 cases of streptococcal toxic shock syndrome SDSS, which has a mortality rate of up to 30%. Some 77 people have died from the infection between January and March, the latest figures available. The ongoing outbreak in Japan has already surpassed last year's previous record of 941 preliminary infections, the highest since statistics began in 1999. Japan's National Institute of Infectious Diseases reported 97 deaths due to SDSS last year, the second highest number of fatalities in the past six years. SDSS is a rare but serious bacterial infection that can develop when bacteria spread into deep tissues and the bloodstream. Patients initially suffer from fever, muscle pain, and vomiting, but symptoms can quickly turn life-threatening with low blood pressure, swelling, and multiple organ failure as the body goes into shock. Even with treatment, SDSS can be deadly. Out of 10 people with SDSS, as many as three people will die from the infection, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC. Most SDSS cases are caused by the group A streptococcus gas bacteria, which mainly produces fever and throat infections in children. In rare circumstances, strep it can become invasive when bacterium produces a toxin that enables it to gain access to the bloodstream causing serious illnesses such as toxic shock. Strep A can also cause flesh-eating, necrotizing fasciitis, which can lead to loss of limbs. However, most patients who contract that disease have other health factors that may lower their body's ability to fight infections, such as cancer or diabetes, according to the CDC. Invasive group of strep infections were largely curbed by COVID-19 controls, such as masking and social distancing, but after those measures were relaxed, many countries reported a rise in cases. In December 2022, five European countries reported to the World Health Organization an increase in invasive group A streptococcus, I guess, with children under 10 the most impacted. The CDC said it was also investigating an apparent increase in the disease at the time. In March, Japanese authorities warned of a jump in SDSS cases. Japan's National Institute of Infectious Diseases released a risk assessment saying the number of SDSS cases caused by eye gas has increased since July 2023, especially among those under 50 years of age. The CDC says older people with an open wound are at increased risk of contracting SDSS, including those who have recently had surgery. However, experts don't know how the bacteria got into the body for nearly half of people who get SDSS the CDC said on its website. The reason for this year's rise in cases of SDSS in Japan remains unclear, according to Japanese public broadcaster NHK. Professor Ken Kikuchi, of Tokyo Women's Medical University, told NHK the rise could be due to people's weakened immune systems following COVID. We can boost immunity if we are constantly exposed to bacteria. But that mechanism was absent during the coronavirus pandemic, Kikuchi said. So, more people are now susceptible to infection, and that may be one reason for the sharp rise in cases. A deadly outbreak of a flesh-eating bacteria is spreading rapidly across Japan, alarming health officials with how quickly it can lead to death. Close to 1,000 cases of streptococcal toxic shock syndrome SDSS, have been reported in the Asian country this year, and doctors warn symptoms can be fatal within 48 hours. As of June 2nd, Japan reported 977 SDSS cases, already surpassing last year's total of 941 cases within the first six months of 2024, according to the country's National Institute of Infectious Diseases. Local newspaper Asahi Shimbun reports that the outbreak has hit Tokyo particularly hard, with 145 cases in the first half of this year already. The majority of cases have been reported in adults over 30, and the death rate is around 30%. The disease is a response to group A streptococcus gas, the same bacteria that causes strep throat in children. Some strains of the bacteria can lead to rapidly developing symptoms like fever, low blood pressure, limb pain, and swelling. If untreated, these symptoms can develop into necrosis, organ failure, difficulty breathing, and even death. Most of the deaths happen within 48 hours, said Ken Kikuchi, a professor in infectious diseases at Tokyo Women's Medical University, in an interview with Bloomberg. 
As soon as a patient notices swelling in foot in the morning, it can expand to the knee by noon, and they can die within 48 hours. Kikuchi warns that at this rate of infection, the number of cases in Japan could soar to more than 2,500 this year. Individuals over the age of 50 are particularly susceptible to severe disease and death, health officials warn. Treatment for SDSS involves high-dose 4 antibiotics and supportive care, but prompt attention and intervention is crucial. According to the National Institute of Infectious Diseases, the best protection against gas and SDSS is good hygiene, including thorough handwashing, treating any gas infections promptly, and keeping a close eye on any wounds, cuts, or infections of the skin. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control CDC, says people with an open wound are at increased risk for SDSS, including those recovering from surgery and operations, as well as those with viral infections that cause open sores. Earlier this year, the Public Health Agency of Canada revealed that invasive group A. streptococcus I gas, disease activity was higher in 2023 compared to pre-pandemic years, and has been identified collectively by the federal, provincial, and territorial governments as a priority for monitoring and control and must be reported to the public health authorities. Around the world, other countries have also reported an uptick in both gas and eye gas infections, post-pandemic. In late 2022, at least five European countries reported an increase in eye gas cases to the World Health Organization, coinciding with the lifting of COVID restrictions in each country. The latest health and medical news email to you every Sunday. The latest health and medical news email to you every Sunday.